everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to Breakout. Yes sir, yes sir, here we are, and ma'am as well. Can't forget the ma'ams, sirs and ma'ams. <laughs> here we are, here we are, once again trying to figure out this mess so that we can break out of here. This is like the longest puzzle ever, just to figure out how to break out of... I guess obsidian, although it's quite possible we might be breaking out of bedrock. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? And we'll have to check viewer comments for today just to find out because I do believe that somebody mentioned something along that. So let's go ahead and get on with the viewer comments and see what we can learn for today's episode. So let's see here. I'm, I, I wrote down the, the notes, but I'm going to kind of go out of order because as per usual... <laughs> Someone has set the bar very high, and their comments were quite the plethora. So I must, I must make sure to, make sure to get everything else in there. So let's see here. So Horayfin was saying yes to this. We will need 128,000 cobble. So what he suggested to do was get the top tier cobble generator, possibly two. Set the matter condenser on top, so it would be this machine. We'll set this on top of the the uh, cobblestone generator so we might have to move that which I, I you know to be honest with you I guess is fine because recently we haven't needed to uh, have access to um, a bunch of ores and stuff and I guess if we do we can always just we can leave this setup as is and we can just put the cobblestone generator back up there if we need to um, he said you'll need to get an ME storage component or else this thing will start to delete items as you run them through here and I will probably need the 64K version. Now, there were a lot of viewers back and forth on if I would need a 16K or a 64K version. Now, I'm not quite certain which is the uh, the correct answer because I don't know how to calculate it. And it's quite possible that some of y'all are saying 16K versus 64 because maybe an update changed something and y'all aren't aware of it. I'm not quite certain how y'all arrived at that conclusion. Um, but depending on how difficult they are to make, we might just aim for the 64K to be safe. That might be the way to go. And also, Horayfin said, um, by the way, Applied Energistics is a very cool mod to learn. Making a basic uh, ME system would be worth it. Now, what is ME? <clears throat> a lot of people said that. Let's try at Applied ME. ME, Annihilation Plant. There's all this stuff saying ME. Fuzzy card, crafting card. But I don't know what the word, it, it, what the two letters ME are supposed to stand for. I have a feeling it's an acronym, but I don't know what it's supposed to stand for. Metapema said, since those important blocks were consumed, you will need to make them again. So let's go here and we'll see what, what it was. These four blocks here. Consume no. Wait. Oh, I know what I know what she's saying. No? Maybe not. She was saying they were consumed. Did we end up consuming those blocks? Let's check and see. We didn't. But she was saying it's consumed. So for now right now we've got them, but in the back of my mind I'm gonna remember where it's quite can I bookmark from here the letter A? <gasps> you can! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Not only from here, but if you see something here, you need to know how to make. Like, oh my gosh. So if I needed to know how to make another crystal growth accelerator, I could hit the letter A. It'll appear over here. Click it and we can see the recipe. That is a nice handy little feature, I must say. But Meadow Pema, well, I will definitely keep these on my... Uh, my little tab bar just in case we end up needing to make those again and if possible our run into materials i'll go ahead and get those prepped and ready so thank you very much for that cameron walter said you will need at least 27 1k components to make a 64k version plus a few extra 4ks for your own storage so let's see what this applied energistics 1k 1k me storage cell fluid storage storage components 1K crafting storage. Well, let's let's do this because he said we're going to need it to make a 64K. Fluid storage, storage component, storage cell. 
wonder what the difference is between a storage cell and a storage component. Let's click this. This storage component needs 16K storage components that needs 4K that needs 1K. Had, wait, oh, no, I went, I clicked way too fast. It's like it froze on me for a second. <clears throat> so this is a storage component versus a storage cell. And I don't know if I, well, let, wait. Oh, I need components. I need components. He definitely said components. So we'll need to be making, we'll need to make 27 of these. Logic processors. Okay, so the inscriber. We're going to need 27 printed silicon, 27 printed logics, which means we need to make this scriber press, skystone dust, and gold. Okay, so, so that kind of gives us an idea of where we're going to need to go with all of that stuff. So thank you very much. And if I'm not mistaken, Cameron Walter, you might be a newer viewer or a first-time commenter. So thank you so much for watching and commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Nighty Panther says you should explore side quests now, especially for applied energistics. I'm starting to notice a theme in all the comments. <laughs> I'm starting to notice a theme. Actually, additions. Well, where in the world is applied energistics? Is that like a sub genre going on in here? Let's see. Mixology, thermal expansion. I don't think it's telling me the actual mod here for where these go to. But apparently Applied Energistics is the way everybody wants me to go. Three pages worth of stuff. So if we just craft everything on those three pages, everybody will be happy. Is that what y'all are saying? <laughs> but yes, I get the feeling we're, tr we're starting to run into a little bit of a roadblock with a lot of different things that are going to need to be crafting, which is fine because we have got so much stuff still to explore between crossroads and all these different mods have their own little side stuff moving out oh that's right we have to make the final tool it's the final tool <laughs> um now green yt which makes me want to say green youtube i don't know why but that might be what yt stands for said several things first of all ender io machines the simple ones leak power one of these days, I'll remember which room. I tell you, I need to just put signs. But we've got the simple machines, simple sterling, and the simple powered furnace. These leak energy. As we can see, this thing's completely out of energy. But this one's not. And neither, neither, no, there is this one. So um, uh, Green YT said the simple ones leak power, the normal ones don't, and the enhanced machine is really good. I'm going to presume really good means like maybe a better percentage of output or it runs faster. And then green YT and let's scroll up on the notes. Ed dog both gave me uh, information on how to make blizz rods. Now, actually let's go to quests. Wait, why is, Oh, cause we're on. Okay. The final tool looks like a diamond pickaxe. I bet it was a diamond diamond. Pickaxe needs two blizz rods, which needs blizz powder, which I think this is where we got stuck last time. <clears throat> a separator, a fluid transposer needs blizz powder, snowballs. I think that's saying it needs XP, so we might have a place to use XP, a pulverizer. Hmm. So see, I'm glad that they gave me instructions on how to do this because I, for the life of me, wait, pulverizer, that, that, cryotheum dust, sag mill. Yeah, I think this is where we got hung up. It's like it's circular reasoning. It won't tell us how to make it, but both uh, Ed Dog and Green YT gave me instructions so, um, let's see here. I'm going to look at what Green YT said that Ed Dog didn't, and then we'll go to Ed Dog's comments because Ed Dog has a pretty uh, in depth comment structure thing going on. Um, 
So Blizzballs put snowballs in a fluid transposer with essence essence of knowledge. Uh, Green YT recommended that I make double of these. I think. What do you say? Double Endirium, double Terra Steel. Yeah. So uh, we've got two people recommending that we make double of this. So we'll probably have to do that. Uh, I should make upgrade kits for all the thermal machines. Were these the thermal machines? No, that's Ender IO. Thermal machines. Maybe that's these in here. It's been a day or two since I've. Thermal expansion. Upgrades. Hmm. I don't know if that will take. Augmented upgrade required. <clears throat> Now, I think, don't the upgrades, all they're going to do is just make it run faster? But it's quite possible we're going to need those machines for our uh, whatever we got to build, so I'll have to remember that, make some upgrades for that as well. Um, also, automate mining of the orchid or lens of the miner. So right now we've just got lens of color. We'll need to look at making lens of miner. And what is this orchid thing? Let's back that up. What, what did he call it? mining of the orchid let's just put an orchid and see what comes up blue orchid um, mining no Ooh, that's got like crazy color stuff at the top I wonder what that means I've never seen that before I'm not uh, but lens of the miner somebody else had mentioned that as well um, pay more attention to the right side of the crossroads now I don't know what they mean. Do they mean the correct side or the actual right side of the crossroads? They mean this stuff over here, maybe? Maybe that's what they're saying. Pressing matters, maybe. Maybe this. If we want to solve our storage problems once and for all, we need to get things out of chests and drawers and into energy-based storage. In order to make storage, first we need to inscribe some processors using a machine called an inscriber combined with presses to imprint specific materials and then combine them. On some worlds, presses are hidden in meteors, but fortunately you are in a meteor yourself, so you can not you can craft them directly. That's right, spoiler alert, we got told we were inside a meteor, and I need to make... I thought I made an inscriber. Let's, let's back up a little bit so we can see if we get a poof of uh, smoke. In wait, you got to spell it right, Piggy. <laughs> oh no, clicked away. In indescribable inscriber, hover over and hit the letter Y, and nothing, nothing comes up. You watch me find it. Well, you have to unless you close your eyes. If you're watching the screen and I find it, you'll watch me find it. That's the craziest thing. I could have sworn. We built an inscriber. Huh. But I do have this flux crystal. Maybe that's what we were going for. I've slept since then. I can't remember. <laughs> um, the matter condenser doesn't get powered by RF. Place energy acceptor on power, then condenser make... Uh, okay. I'll go over here and look at this. So this matter condenser, right up in here is where we need to put the 64K component, I believe. So this is gonna save up stored energy. Maybe that's where it's gonna save up the energy. And this, we got a trash can coming over to here, condense into singularities. We can click this and change it. So the output could either be destroy items, condense into a matter ball, Condense into a singularity, 128,000 per item. So I think what we're supposed to do is we're going to run cobble in this into this machine with this setting. It will slowly start converting those items, and we will have a storage component right here to start storing up the, uh, I guess, the energy transfer, the singularity, however that's supposed to work. I think that's what's going on. Okay, so let's go to Ed Dog. Mr. Ed Dog and his plethora of words that all strung together logically say things. <laughs> so first of all, he says how to build or how to craft blizz rods. So first thing we'll have to do is craft an experience EXP drain. But for some reason, that's not working. Let's see here. 
Advanced Energy Stuff Distributor, Experience Solidifier, an Experience Obelisk, a Fluid Export Bus, an Experience Rod. Nothing up there saying drain. Let's try the word drain. XP drain. Okay. Oh, that's that's really easy. I, I think we have some iron bars laying around. You know what? Oh, okay, there we go. There's some of that. And let's see here. Let's just, what is it? Six. Six will give us, I think, 16. So this should be more than enough. Okay, so there we go. We got ourselves an XP drain. I don't remember where I had this. So that I can forget that I had it. <laughs> and we place that on a tank. Now, they didn't, several people told me this, that nobody specified what kind of tank. So let's see here. Let's presume that it's going to be uh, this tank. Tanks a lot. Um, where would be a good place to set all this up? We got some space right here. How about in here? We could do that in here. We've got a little bit of room in here. Okay, so we place the tank. We place... The XP drain on it. Oh, cool. Look. Ooh. We finally know what our levels are for. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's almost full. Let's just stand here till we... Okay, cool. And it does stop. So it, it, it stops whenever it's full. It doesn't keep like pulling XP out and like spitting it on the floor or something. Okay, so that was cool. Then connect the tank to the fluid transposer with fluid pipes or buckets. Fluid transposer. What is that? Fluid transposer. Basic. Did we build one of those? I want to say we did. Let's check these machines. Auto compressor, compact. Wait, what mod is that for? Thermal expansion. Compactor, magma crucible. Oh, getting stuck on that thing. Induction smelter. Fluid transposer. There we go. Okay, so let's grab that. Wait, there's a reason for it now. Um, Once again, going in the wrong room. Do I need to put power on the fluid transposer? That's where it's going to get a little... Yep, it needs power. Okay, so... Let's put that, wow, <laughs> turning into an absolute spaghetti mess. Let's move the matter condenser for now. <clears throat> we'll put the fluid transposer there. Yellow, red, I can't remember how to do this. Red, red, red. Redstone controls configuration. Auto output enabled. Auto input disabled. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can tell it. Auto input enabled. And I want the auto input to be there. Is that right? Oh, I can tell it the auto input from there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's break that drain. Oh, no. Did that? Oh, it's trying to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, where did it all go? So, can I put this grate like that? And then we could place our tank here, and when it's full, like I can access it from here, and when it's full, we can just break it and do that. Mode fill, auto enabled input. Control status enabled. Control status disabled. Hmm. All right, well, what was the next step? Uh, connect the tank to a fluid transposer with a fluid pipe or buckets. So apparently plugging that right into that isn't going to work. So we'll need fluid pipes. So, oh, that almost went into the lava. That would not have been good. All that XP. Um... Item conduits. Do we have any fluid pipes here? Hardened fluid duct, hardened flux duct, 
Item duct, fluid duct. There we go. That'll work. So if I do that and then that, that's not working either. Maybe I've got this input thing incorrect. See, that keeps changing. See how, and this turns blue and that turns red. I think this is a different inputs for where this different stuff should be. Right? That's, okay, fluid transposer to here. I know everybody's just losing their ever-loving mind right now. Auto input, auto output enabled, enabled. Enabled, low. Low signal required. So maybe we just have to have a uh, um, a lever? Is that what it is? To give it that on-off switch? Here we go, we'll do that. And I know I got cobble in here somewhere. Second page, second page, okay, that. Okay, so let's make a switch. And... I don't know if that's working or not. <laughs> Might have to do a little off-camera research just to figure that one out. But anyway, we're supposed to run uh, the Fluid XP into the Fluid Transposer. We might just have to use buckets at this point. And then craft a, glac a Glacier Precipitator. Now, several other people told me to do this, too. Glacial Precipitator. Copper gears, redstone reception coils, machine for... Okay, y'all have seen me do all this stuff before, so I think I'll build this between episodes just so y'all don't have to watch me go through that. But we're going to build that. We're going to place it down and give it power. <clears throat> we got to make sure it's receiving water, so we'll have to look at this interface and see how uh, it gets water. More than likely what might be a good idea... <clears throat> Let's see here. We've got water there. I don't know if it needs a constant supply of water, or maybe we could use buckets and just give it water. But you give it water, it will create snowballs, and then you take the snowballs to the fluid transposer, and it's supposed to take the liquid XP and the snowballs, and that will give us blizz powder, and then we take four blizz powder to the compactor, energy infuser, magma crucible, the compactor, and this will compact it into blizz rods. So that's how we do all that mess. So like I said, we may be using buckets. Now the thing is, I record three episodes on a weekend and then release them. And this is the first episode for the week. So it's quite possible that you'll know what I'm doing wrong. You're screaming at the camera, but it's going to be two more episodes at least before I catch all that. So forgive me for the frustration I cause you. I mean you no harm. <laughs> but we will definitely get all this figured out. And while we get this different stuff going, <clears throat> y'all have given me quite a few different... Uh, directions to explore and look at and then we can get all these other little side quests going as well which will be awesome but if you all enjoyed this episode please click that like button if you want to see more of these as I release them don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell if you want YouTube to notify you and if you have any comments or suggestions or help go ahead and put it down in the description box down or the comment section down below I will try my best to react to your comments on YouTube as well as in video but thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to see if I can figure out all these machines for next episode. And that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.